Hello. Uh oh, we're not capturing a game. Hold on. There we go. All right, we are playing Wandering Village today. I've decided that Wednesdays are going to be Wandering Village Day because of the W's. <laughs> Um, let's see, drop frame issues. So I've done a couple of things again to try to fix this. I don't think it worked. <laughs> I was like, I drop frames. I'm gonna run an ethernet cable through my house tomorrow. See if that helps. If it does help, I'm gonna be drilling some holes in my floor <laughs> to get it to run through the basement. So that the dogs don't trip on it. We don't trip on it, but Let's get going. Hello, one viewer. Welcome to the stream. This is going to be great. Uh, really enjoy playing this game. It's very new. Uh, it's got a lot of potential, and I'm just really excited. So we're going to resume where we were last time. Uh, we didn't really get too terribly far last time. We only played about an hour. Last time, we might only do another hour again today. Uh, depends on when my husband gets off work because we got some dinner plans. So we'll see. All right. Uh, let's get in here. And uh, pausing for a moment so that we can review what this game is about in case you haven't uh, seen it before. Uh, <clears throat> or you weren't with us the last time we streamed this. So in this game, you're a village <clears throat> of survivors on the back of a giant, like, dinosaur thing. <laughs> it's so cool. But anyway, your little, uh, they're called uh, onboos. Your onboo walks around uh, the earth, uh, like post-apocalyptic earth. And so your environment changes as your onbu walks around. For example, you can see us right here. We're in the middle of the desert right now, and we just came out of this purple area, which just means a, a poisoned area. And it was poisoned desert. Um, and you can kind of see over here a little bit, there's some green that is uh, like a forest type area, jungle area. Depending on what biome you're in, um, that dictates which, uh, foods and stuff you can grow and how you get water. So right now we're in a hot, arid biome, which means our water wells, which just collect water from the uh, air. So that works really well for, you know, humid areas, um, jungles and stuff. It doesn't work so well in the desert. <laughs> in the desert. So while we're in the desert, we gotta grow these cacti and these cacti will give us water. Uh, we also have corn that does well in warmer environments. So you can see it here we're in a hot environment. We're in the green zone for corn. Great, great job, corn. That's, that's what we're going to be living off of for a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, beets right now because it's hot, it's gray, not going to grow. Uh, when, beets, when we get to a, a cooler environment, the beets will be in the green zone and we'll be fine can kind of grow beets in freezing as well. I actually don't know, I haven't really experienced like a true freezing biome yet. I've had um, like cold snaps, I've experienced cold snaps. And I also haven't seen any foods that are specifically cold. Uh, you can see this is our research tree. Hi Georgie. Judge, can we not? Oh my gosh, he does this every time I start streaming. He saunters in here and he looks out the window and he's like, what can I scream at today? <laughs> George, no. Look, I put a blanket here for you to lay down. Okay, so this is our research tree. We have a research tree for the village, uh, for resources, and for the onbu. So the onbu doesn't immediately trust us. We have to gain its trust uh, in order to do things like say, hey, let's take this route because we'll come across uh, across these crossroads sometimes and we can suggest that it go one way or another if it trusts us enough if it trusts us enough 
it'll follow our suggestion. Otherwise, it does whatever it wants to do. Sometimes it's what we want to do too, sometimes it's not. So we've also got uh, two scavengers, uh, scavenging parties, and so we can send them out to get resources from um, these little areas here. Uh, and we looks like we have one ready to go. What, what do we need? Do we need stone? We kind of got enough stone. I think I'm going to send them to a dune. Uh, a lot of times you can get just random stuff from dunes. Uh, sometimes you get just sand. <laughs> sometimes you get more stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and send them out. Uh, and let's see, what are we, I don't even remember where we were last time. So we've got our berry people here. Oops, zoom in. Uh, we have a dung collector. We're just trying to get that um, going. So we can collect its poop. <laughs> Uh, the reason we want to collect its poop is so that we can make biofuel and biogas so that uh, sometimes when you're going through these poison zones, you can get poisonous plants growing on your onbu, and that's no good, and we can use the biogas to burn them. <laughs> we can use it for fire and kind of burn them up. So let's just go ahead and get started. And we'll kind of figure out where we were. So we're building a warehouse here. We have two kitchens. We've got one kitchen on beet soup. We've got a lot of beets, so that's okay. And we got one on berries. We've got another lot of berries, so that's great as well. So the processed foods are, you know, better for the, for the villagers. It fills them up a little bit better than the raw foods do. And the warehouses in this game can only hold X number of items per item. So I know some some play, some uh, games, like I'm thinking specifically Settlement Survival right now, you can build a warehouse that can have, I don't even remember how many, like 200 things. But it could be 200 stone, you know? Um, it, it doesn't matter what it is, it just holds X amount of that item. All right. Uh, let's see what else is going on. We got worker posts. So these are kind of how you control uh, your random workers who aren't, who don't have a job. I think I'm going to add, well, I've got three and three. I think I might uh, open up an opening in each of these. Uh, just for whenever our population starts to grow. So another thing in this game is your population, they don't they don't breed. So your your workers don't like these two people won't, you know, breed and like create a baby and then you have a child and then you get raise a child. The way you increase your population is that you'll just see random people throughout here and you can pick them up and be like, "Hey, you want to you want to come join us?" <laughs> And they're usually like, yes, please, we're dying in the middle of a desert. Uh, so that's how you increase your population. Uh, they still do like die of like old age and stuff. Uh, sometimes they get sick, which is not great. Uh, but let's see here. We do have one, we have a couple idle people. We have uh, several, oh, our Anbu is waking up. Several employed idle people. It's probably, I'm guessing, just like berry workers or something that is, uh, they're just waiting for their items to move out. All right, let's watch a little guy walk around a little bit. So, this is a, uh, so he's getting hungry. <laughs> Do we have a catapult yet? We don't have a catapult yet. You can build a catapult to catapult food into their face. It's pretty adorable. But this area right here, is a comfortable spot for the Anbu to sleep. So we, he just got all nice and rested up. And now our Anbu is walking. So the scavenger party did return with just sand. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, where else can we go? A mine holds iron ore. Uh, infested plants. We have no idea what we might find here. I'm going to actually go here. Sometimes you can find some cool stuff. And sometimes everybody gets sick. So I'm hoping for the cool stuff. <laughs> All right, I got more sand that came back. Let's, I guess, go back here for the iron as well. And 
uh, I feel like we can, we're at 1x. We're going to play at 10x, or 4x, this is as fast as we can go. We got a little Anbu walking around. It, all right, it just pooped. We don't see the poop. That's not animated. <laughs> but I do have this going on. So what is the problem? We are low on wood planks and stone slabs. We need wood planks and stone slabs. I've got one person and one person. Your problem is that we're low on wood. We are, in fact, low on wood. So we do have people gathering wood. But we should probably gather some more. So let's get all these trees. And we're going to uh, change you guys to harvesters. Uh, so that they're going to harvest. I believe you guys are your general workers. Let's go ahead and make you harvesters as well. So they'll focus on harvesting uh, these trees. So that we can get our stone slabs and, and wood that we need. Alright, we got more iron ore. Oh... Uh, Ooh, ooh, an oasis. Let's check that out. Okay. I'm going to pause it real quick because I'm going to vent a little bit. Oh, hi! We've got two viewers. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope it's not too uh, laggy for you. I've got 65% dropped frames over the last two minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not great. Uh, I'm going to vent a little bit about these crossroads. Uh, we have a choice we can make. We can go north or we can go south. So anybody that's ever looked at a compass, <laughs> north, south, right? They're opposite directions. These are not opposite directions. <laughs> this is like northeast, right? I think the reason the developers, you can only go straight or you can turn right. That's the, those are the only two directions you can go in the entire game. I think, I don't know. I think the reason that they did this is so that people don't like go in a circle um, and then like find like a, a good path that's just a circle to go in. But I think they could get around that if they uh, added things like rock slides or uh, fallen trees or something that would block the on boost path so that if you try to go down something a, a two or three times, it would stop you from doing that. So I think there are ways around it. I would just really like for this not to be called North and South, because it's not North and South. <laughs> okay. North and, uh, and East. Um, but if we look at our options here, the, the North option, it's got a nice sleepy spot. The South option has a nice sleepy spot, but then it's got poison and it's got a tornado. But we could possibly get into some foresty area. I'm not willing to risk that right now. I think we're gonna go straight. So I'm gonna recommend that it goes straight. It does not trust me. This is a new game. We haven't even been able to feed it yet. So who knows what it's gonna do. Could go straight, could take it right. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and play. All right. Well, let's see. We're getting that. What's your problem? Not enough workers available. Oh yeah, because I just increased that. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be full. Uh, we do have more wooden planks. So, Car Carlton, what are you doing? Are you gonna go get some planks? Oh, is that uh, going into the kitchen? No, he's moving to the carpenter. George, no. George, no. Hi, Beans. Then he went back. Okay, so he did go get some wood to start doing that. Great. Scavenging party returned. They brought back 15 mushrooms, but two got poisoned. Uh, we have a doctor, don't we? Have I researched doctor yet? I thought I had. Hold on. <laughs> we need to build this real quick. Uh, food, dung. Carpenter. Nope. Nope. Uh, village doctor. I do not have a village doctor yet. So we do need to go ahead and build that. Probably should have built that beforehand. Alright. I'm going to switch you guys. Oops. Two builders. Let's go. 
Um, I don't, and then you're gonna have to remove that little berry bush. I'm not sure what it costs to build a village doctor. Wood plank stones, I don't know that. But you can see I prioritize this one as three. I don't think these are prioritized, they're not. So they're gonna focus on getting this built up first. All right, uh, let's see if we can send these guys out. Oh, look, great, forest. That's awesome. Oh, and a shrine. Oh, I wish I'd seen that earlier. So shrines, uh, and then there are also like um, previous settlements that'll show up. And you want to go for those because sometimes for some of the research, see how it's like got a one here? You need these knowledge points. They're not cumulative. You have to, so if I had one knowledge point, I could research sleep command but that would use that one knowledge point. Then I have to get another knowledge point uh, to research the eat command. Uh, so you need to always be trying to get those. Uh, and he, they did go straight, which is fantastic. I'm hoping there's some food for it because I don't have any food <laughs> for, <laughs> for him right now. Uh, okay, we've got stone slabs going. You're researching. All right, you don't have anything to harvest. That's not true. Why are you chilling? What is your job? Oh, there were they were probably a worker and they were waiting for materials to be ready. Got it. All right, and it looks like we're taking another nippity nap because uh, they're hungry. And we all know what we do when we're hungry and we can't get access to food immediately as we take a nap. <laughs> so it's taking a nap. Uh, do I have another one? Mm, there's another oasis. Send a party there. All right, so since we're about to go into this, uh, uh, this bio, I know that it's gonna be more moderate and it's gonna be arid. So I'm gonna switch from cactus to beet on both of these. Um, that way they'll stop growing corn and they'll start growing beets again. So we're starting to get low on beets, but we got plenty of corn. So we'll eat the corn while the beets get up, et cetera, et cetera. All right, great. That is a feeding spot. So I guess they must've smelt it up there. <laughs> uh, so they're gonna go up there and they're gonna eat. And we've entered a jungle biome. So now these should start working because now we're in a humid, sorry, got the hiccups. A humid environment, so we can start collecting uh, water from the air, which is great. All right. What else do we need? Oh my goodness, look how hungry. What, what am I researching? On Bukia. Okay, we are. All right, we're researching uh, stuff to feed our Anbu. We're researching the kitchen to make the food, and then we're uh, researching the trebuchet to launch food at its face. It's so cute. <laughs> it's really good at catching. I don't know who taught it to catch, but it, they did a really good job. Uh, geez, if we, I wish I had an extra worker. Do I have an extra worker lying around? I feel like I don't because then they would be filling that up. I don't really want to take anybody away from food. I really need more workers. I need, it seems like I need a second person in here for the uh, carpentry. Maybe if I change you guys to carriers, that way they'll carry resources to places that need resources and uh, they'll carry it away from, from places. So like when this gets to up to 20 beats, they'll start taking the beats away to storage. <clears throat> Maybe that'll help a little bit. Uh, we've got two scavenger parties. We're gonna go ahead and get both of these forests scavenged because uh, we are in need of some timber. So we're gonna do that. Uh, were we able to, oh, we did get one knowledge. Perfect, from that uh, shrine. That's great. All right, we've got another, oh man, are they coming our way? Probably not, they're probably going down. Do we wanna go down to try to get these nomads? They are poisoned. I don't have a doctor right now, so that's a problem. <laughs> Uh, send party. 
Or do we want to keep going straight? Uh, I guess we have a little bit of time to figure it out while Andu eats. They are very hungry. Uh, and our doctor should be coming online soon. We will have to stop somebody from doing something. Oh, we might have to take one of these workers out to become a doctor. Great. Uh, and I am, yes, uh, let's make those smaller and we'll, we'll take one of you. So now they're going to have somebody. Okay, so now we can take new people. But that means going down into the desert. Do we want to go back down to the desert? I don't know. Send a party to that settlement. See if see if we can see anything the closer we get. So like maybe there's like poison stuff or something up there. <laughs> I don't want to go into. Oh no! I did have two people die from poisoning. That sucks. So I might want to go grab these guys. Uh, some party. All right, let's go south. Uh, and I need to be right back. I uh, hear my dogs need to go outside. Gotta go cycle potty. So I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, here, George. Got some uh, distraction kibbles for George. Puppies are outside going potty and playing. Uh, turn the light on because it was getting dark. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do here? Of course, there's no... Uh, that's right. We said we're going to try to go south. There is no guarantee that we're going to go south, though. It looks like it might turn into desert up here anyway. Oh, and there's nomads up there. Okay. So either way, we're going to get some nomads, which is good. They're all poison, though. <laughs> Alright. I can't tell to do anything else for, an for another few seconds, but kind of hope it goes forward. <laughs> Uh, we just switched to beats. You stay on beats for a little bit. What's it gonna do? Yep, oh, yep, we're going south. Okay, so we need a switch. We're no longer we no longer want to do beats. We now want to switch to corn and cactus. <coughs> oh, hey, kitten. Kitten's gonna try to get some of these kibbles. All right. So, we want a doctor for the Anbu. My kitten. You're going to be in the way. I'm going to have to put you in the cat room. Uh, or do we want a hut for our villagers? 
Uh, let's do hut. I feel bad that they're sleeping in tents. <laughs> Feels a little bad. Okay. Kitten! I don't know if you guys can see the kitten. <laughs> nope. These are not for you. These are puppy kibbles. Alright, here we go. We're going to pick these villagers up. These nomads up. Go ahead and grab them. Uh, pick them up. Commit. One healthy, two poisoned. Alright, we do have a doctor now, so hopefully we can help them. There goes the kitten again. Doing kitten things. Alright, uh... How are you... Wait, what's the problem? Oh! The storage is full. Uh, but everybody's employed, right? Yeah, everybody's employed. Ooh, kitten! Uh, ooh, they brought some bread back. That's great. Okay, what else can we do? Let's do this oasis. Uh, let's do some sandy. Oh, no party. Oh, uh, do I not have enough people? Uh, you guys are poisoned, but it's fully staffed. Uh, can they not go out if they're poisoned? Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> okay. Okay, and you're uh, poisoned. You're the doctor and you're poisoned. Okay. Do we not have herbs? We don't have herbs! Oh no! Oh no, this has been a major oversight! Uh, oh goodness. It's you're taking another nap. Um, build please. Fortunately, it's just wooden stone. We don't have to wait for it to be processed, which is good. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I didn't realize we didn't have any herbs. <laughs> you're kidding, you're gonna have one dog kibble. All right. Your villagers' needs have decreased. Oh, because the population level's down. Because people are dying and being poisoned. <laughs> Whoops. Should have checked on those herbs sooner. That's okay. We're learning. It's a new game. We're all learning. All right. What are we going to do? A quarry or... Let's do a doctor. Because I'm honestly, I'm getting... Plenty of stone from foraging right now. I'm not. I'm not really hurting, and we have a bunch of stone over here as well. So there are also these on boost spikes. I didn't realize what they were the first time I played this. You can harvest them for 30 stone, but it's part of your on boost. <laughs> so you're like taking it apart, and it hurts it. You don't want to do that. You don't want to hurt your on <clears throat> So I'm trying not to do that this this game. My first game I did, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so here is this. So the scavenger hut needs to be fully staffed in order to run. It needs two people. So that means if there's only one person, you can't actually use it. That's different from things like a farm where you can say, oh, I want three people on this or I want one person on this. That, that choice is completely up to you. It doesn't matter. Um, over there. Uh, but with some of them, they do have staff required. Uh, another example is the research building, I believe. Well, maybe not. Uh, but they should say full staff required under them if, if they need full staff. Oh, man. All right, so we've got this going. Pause. Um, let us take one person out of there. Uh, we're gonna disable that one for right now because I don't want people going in there uh, at the moment. And we're going to 
don't know how much we want to do. These farms are weird. <laughs> They're like weirdly shaped. I haven't quite figured out my favorite uh, like outline form. I do like these little half circle things. They're pretty neat. All right. Uh, we're going to have to shut more stuff down. We might need to shut down one of the kitchens. That shut down. Uh, take one of you out. Will that get somebody up there? Where are these people going? <laughs> this is the only place you should be going. Uh, pantry. Oh, let's just disable this completely. Okay, now we've got somebody going up there. All right. So, oh my goodness, I, I've lost so many people today already. We just started 30 minutes in, and we've got a bunch of people that have succumbed to poison. Whoops. Uh, so herbs, very important. Remember that for next time. So our Anbu's hungry. I should have gone that way. Could have eaten. We do have a short heat wave coming up. This is where it's gonna get very hot. Uh, it's probably, it'll kill any beets that we are still like hanging around. The kitten really wants these dog kibbles. Um, so we want to get out of that as quickly as possible. We don't have it unlocked right now, but eventually we'll be able to research a command. Well, actually, I guess you don't have to research it. it there is just a command to run because we have the horn blower, but it doesn't trust us. So it might not, uh, might not. <laughs> Why not run? But I do try to run through those if possible. All right, we're gonna do a quarry. Uh, well, actually, let's open the research tree. Let's see what we've got available. Kitten, I'm gonna have to walk you outside. We're out of the room. All right, bile extractor. Uh, reduces trust and health. We don't wanna do that. Food stand, we might want to do that. We Let's go ahead and do food stand. So that we can put this out in the uh, remote areas. And then after food stand, let's go ahead and get tomatoes and then wheat. Just so we can start fleshing out more, uh, getting a more diverse, uh, more diverse food, food options. Man, look how much corn. Jeez, that's a lot of corn. That's a lot of corn. <laughs> I guess nobody's eating it right now. <laughs> Our population died. But we should be getting these herbs soon. And it should be able to help us. And we've got another crossroads coming up. I don't know which way we should go again. Our Anbu's getting hungry, though. So we do have an on. Well, so we need more people. Because we, we don't have anybody that can build right now. Everybody is just like making food stuff right now. <laughs> I guess it's good. We do need that. Uh, but potentially we could shut down the farm for a minute. Uh, or take some people off of berries. Uh, let's see. We need this first. This is going to grow our... This will grow our mushrooms that we need. Oh no, kitten, you pull on cords. You thought you could come in from the side. <clears throat> uh, high risk priority. Uh, we are running low on stone. We have people out getting stone. Some party. Go get that stone. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna ask it to run. It may or may not run. Oh good, it's running. All right, so he's gonna sh scuttle through there. We're gonna go north, try to go north. Try to go north. Doesn't trust. Kitten. Kitten, no. Oh, pause and let's tell it to walk. All right. 
Yeah, I know. All right. Don't go. Don't. No, he's going to eat the taste. Oh, okay. This will cause constipation, which I guess isn't the worst. Um, it will. does mean that his he won't get as hungry as fast. Like this kitten. Look at that way, kitten. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Good. We turn. He turned. He does seem to be starting to trust us a little bit. A little bit of trust. All right, we've got uh, send out there again. Get more stone. Uh, so we don't have any builders. I'm going to. This feels so bad, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Shut down the farm. I'm going to open this back up uh, for those three farm workers. Can't tell him oh, how cute he is, but he's so annoying. All right. I know you're so hungry. I'm trying to get you fed. Hey, only 49% of my frames have been dropped in the last two minutes. It's getting better. <laughs> mm. All right. What else? Okay, there, great. They're building that. So after that gets built, we'll have to put one person in there. Uh, and then we need the kitchen to be built. Let's build the kitchen over here. And then we'll need the trebuchet to be built and we'll just put it right here. Let's put a little uh, thingy. Uh, where is it? Material storage. Right there. So we can kind of store everything here. All right, so he's taking a little nap. Uh, looks like there are some more nomads up ahead, which is good. We need people. I don't know what's happening. I need to go figure out what's going on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Everything's okay. I've got a gaggle of puppies that I'm giving snickety snacks to. All right. <clears throat> so we've got the kitchen. That needs to be high priority. And then this needs to be high priority. I'm glad you made the dung collector, but it is kind of lower priority. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, that's so good beans. That's a good bean boy. Oh, he's just being so good. He's just the goodest, but he can't catch food. So I have to deliver it directly to his mouth. I don't know what happens when the Anbu's hunger level gets completely full. I don't know when it's at a, I don't know what happens. I don't, do I lose the game? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> this, uh, this might be, uh, the first, uh, this is the first time this is going to happen to me. Oh, it's a tornado. I thought it was the top of a mushroom. Dang it. We can run through those if we time it right. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to ask him to run because running makes the hunger worse. But we're okay with food. It's really just the cacti, and the cacti are fine. We really mainly need the water, and the cacti are fine. They love, they love this weather. Uh... Take one of you out. Oh, well, I guess you're gonna go collect poop or something. Uh, I wish... See, I wish that... So this is full. I wish they would just take it somewhere. It's like... Okay, this is full. Let me take it down to the warehouse. That's literally right here. <laughs> I don't... Uh, where are you taking it to? He's taking it all the way down to this pantry. Oh, the warehouse can't. Oh, get it. Okay, the warehouse can't store it. There's no place for the warehouse to hold this. The warehouse can only hold these items. Ha! Ah, that's a little frustrating. I get it. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's fine. It makes sense. I understand. Now that I understand, I'll build another pantry up here. Okay, so now we should be getting herbs. Our doctor should be healing people. It looks like we're doing better. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't see anybody running around with the little poisoned effect thing. Oh, he looks so sad. Oh no, he, is he gonna die? Oh my god, it is dying! There's food right here! Go south! I know you don't trust me, but please go south. There's food. Oh, look at his leggies. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. Oh, his health's going down. Oh, my God. It's going to die. I don't know what's going to happen. You're sitting down. Oh, because you're in the, we're in a tornado. All right, it's going to break a bunch of my stuff. Uh. All right. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad. I feel real bad. Game over. It's starved to death. Okay, so that is a thing that can happen. Did not know. All right. All right, George. Uh, let me see how much time I've got left. See if we'll start a new one or if I need to get off. <laughs> what are you doing, phone? Just do the right things. All right, obviously we're gonna have to start a new game. Customized difficulty? Ooh. I'm not gonna do any of that. That seems like cheating. All right, I got a little bit of time. So we'll, we'll start in a new one. Driven from our homes by the boxes below, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find.
Okay. So, all right, we've got, all right, first we're going to do a uh, kitchen, and then I want to do scavenger. Uh, well, you're going to need cactus pretty quick and corn. Uh, horn blower. And then we'll do uh, the kitchen stuff. Where's the, uh, maybe it's just something we can do automatically. Uh, um, yeah, back. All right. Uh, so every Yonbu is different when you start the game. Everything's different. Uh, looks like we just have a little bit of stuff up, a little bit of green up here. Most of it's dirt. Not a lot of green down here. Kind of makes me want to do most of our stuff down here, but then we're really far away from the head and we really want to interact with its head. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, trees, gather all the trees. Uh, second thing second, gather all this stone. There we go. For building, this plate, this area seems pretty useless, so we'll just build. Uh, and I figured this out last time. If you want to build multiples, like at the beginning, you're going to want to build a bunch of tents. Hold shift, hold the shift button, and it won't. Because if I don't hold shift, and I click, and I go go back down here. If I hold shift, I can make more. Hashtag pro tip. All right. So we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get a worker post over here. Uh, and then we're also gonna get... Do I only want one worker post? Probably not. I think I'll put research down here. So that'll be good. Uh, so we'll have live stuff. Uh, we need, uh, okay, so we do just start with that. We need, uh, berry stuff. So we'll need to try to find 58%, 63%, 67, 63. So we'll put it there. And then we're going to need some farms. I think I'm going to put them side by side over here. I don't know. So I, it's. Because it's so weird, <laughs> everything's so weird. I just, you know, I don't know where everything should go. I think I'm gonna do like this. Uh, and then we're gonna need an herbalist. Remember herbs? Remember that time we <laughs> lost a bunch of people? Uh, put that here. And then I'm going to put the mushroom one over here. I think that makes sense. What is this again? Berry gathers. So we'll put some pantries out here. All right, let's start building. Uh, uh, worker post, highest priority, because otherwise oh, they won't know what to do. All right, 4%, 4x, let's go. Two, three. Okay, gather, 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 gather. That's uh, some berry pile of berries. Alright, I think they're just sleeping right now. Yes. What do we have around us? Right now we're we're good. We're missing out on that. There's no way we can build a scavenger's hut on top of that. <laughs> Alright, research building is going, which means our research can start. We did find out last time that if you build multiple research buildings, you do get uh, a boost to your research. 
So right now our research is at 100%. If we built a second one, it would go to 140%. And hold on. Oh, and I don't know because I haven't tried yet, but I would assume if you built a third one, it would only go to 160%. But I haven't, I haven't tested that, so don't, don't quote me on that. I only know that two will get you 140%. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have these guys here. And you guys are, uh, yeah, general workers for now. That's fine, because you guys are just generally doing stuff. All right. All right, let's go ahead and pause so we can get some plant stuff laid out. Let's go to... Or, uh, hmm, how, how is this one going to lay out? Let's find that out first. One up all the way out. One down. Is that going to be enough? We'll find out. And then I guess we could have, oh, that's not done yet. Let's do this one. One up all the way out, one down. I feel like that's bigger. <clears throat> uh, we do need uh, material storage areas. So let's put one here and we'll put one here. And then this is going to be uh, pause. One up, all the way out, one down. This will probably be our, our primary food one. So this will be our beets and our corn. And this will be beets and cactus. I think that'll work the best. Uh, and we also are going to need some air wells over here for Wata. Uh, we'll do them down here. Air well, air well. And then we'll need some storage. All right. Oh, we're getting up. We're getting up. Two, two, one, I think is fine. One, I think is fine over here as well. And this is going to be a little bit differently shaped. I think we're going to do this. Okay, do that. All right. Uh, and then are you complaining that you don't have a house? Do we need more houses? Population, total people, total housing. Yes, we need more houses. Build another tent. Oops, forgot to hold shift. Don't forget to hold shift. Boop, boop. Just do all the way out that way and let's build can't build a road there. We can build a road over here. We can build a road here and here and then down here. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop. All right. What, what's your problem? Not enough workers available. Oh, you, you're fine. You just need one. You just need one for now. Okay, so we've got a kitchen. Uh, we're gonna want to put a kit. Well, we're gonna want to put pantries down. We don't have pantries yet, right? No, we do have pantries. One pantry. Two pantry, put a kitchen. Uh, we're gonna need more materials. So let's harvest all these trees and all these rocks. I guess these are the closest rocks. More rocks here. Great. All right. 
I haven't even looked. All right. Uh, probably not going to take a nap. They're pretty well rested. Looks like we have some nomads up ahead, which is great. Oh, they are going to take a little nippy nap. Awesome. That's fine. We don't really, we're not really in a position where we can do anything about where or what the Anbu does. So <laughs> it's fine. Whatever the Anbu wants to do is fine. Uh, what is your problem? Missing resources. Missing water. We don't have water. So the air wells need to be highest priority. Build a water tank. Hello again, viewers. Welcome to the stream. If you're enjoying this new game, uh, I hope the stream is not too laggy. I've only dropped 45% of my frame. Six, sorry. Now it's 66%. <laughs> my frames in the last two minutes. I was proud of that 45%. I'll run an Ethernet cable tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I run a temporary one through the house. If that works, then I'll start drilling holes in the floor to get it to run properly into the house. <clears throat> Okay, so now they're coming down here to get the water. All right, you got your housing needs met. Sounds like we've got everybody housed, we do. Uh, we're gonna need more housing though because we're about to pick some people up. Uh, and then, I guess we could go either way. Both have food and both seem to be green. Oh, this is poison down here, so look at that purple. Let's, oh, we don't have a horn blower. We can't even attempt. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Down B will figure it out, hopefully. <clears throat> uh, pick them up. Three villagers, nice and healthy. That's what we want to see. All right. Uh, let's get three on there and three on there. Herbalist one is fine, I think. I'm not terribly worried about that. Do we have any, we do have one unemployed person, which is fine because we're about to build a kitchen and so we'll need some money in the kitchen. Just researched. Great. All right, Ambu, what are you doing? Are we going le left or straight? What are we doing? Turn, please, turn, please, turn. No! Okay. Oh, some more nomads. All right. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, we don't get sick, but. Oh, Kerrigan, hi. Kerrigan's joined the stream. Please don't climb on the desk, though. Oh, do you want more kibbles? Are you guys upset about that? Here. Are you guys starting to get hangry? Well, I guess, yeah, you're probably starting to get a little hangry. I know, I feel. You trying to take my headphones again? She took my headphones the other day. No, bean bean off. I don't have room for both of you up here. I know, you guys getting hangry. It's okay, though. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm trying to save humanity, Kerrigan! I'm trying to save humanity on the back of a dinosaur! <laughs> it's okay. Alright, that's enough. Alright. Why don't you rotate or you can sit there, that's fine. She's such a good girl. George? Alright. Uh, where are we on our research? 
Uh, we're all in corn, and then the next will be hornblower. That's good. Uh, scavenger's hut. Do you have some scavenger's huts we can build? Do you want to build two? I do like having two. All right, so we've gotten into a cold environment, which beets don't love, but they'll they'll be okay. Uh, if you didn't see the uh, beginning of the last, not this stream, but the stream before, uh, berries don't seem to be affected by the temperature, so it is good to try to get some good berries going. Let's take a little nap. Eventually we'll get our villagers, or nomads. <coughs> Do we have housing for them? Kind of. We've got two openings. Uh, we should probably also research the, oh my goodness, your paws are so cold. Uh, village doctor. Throw that in there. I know, you need a rotato to lay down or back up a little bit. You're not in a comfortable laying down position, Kerrigan. She says, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> She's just laying her head on the desk. She's a very determined dog. She's a coon. She's part coon hound. Uh, I used, used uh, my previous dog was a coon hound. Coon hound. They are uh, they are stubborn. When they set their mind to something, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Uh, there's a tree. Get rid of that tree. Uh, and I feel like I saw a screenshot where somebody had uh, berry, like a bunch of berries they had grown. So, or like, I don't know how they got them, but they got them all around their, uh, their berry gatherers. Like, I don't know if it was just over time berries grew around there or if they somehow got, were able to plant the berries. I just, I don't see anything about planting berries in the, uh, Research tree. You be bean. Oh. All right, we got corn, so now we should be on the horn. Yes, and then we'll be on the kitchen, and then we can start feeding it. It's not very hungry yet, which is <laughs> good. Uh, cold snap. All right, we can deal with that, and we should be picking up these nomads. Pick them up. Two healthy people. Perfect. All right. Uh, how are our needs? Food quality, uh, this. Uh, consumption, 39. Uh, production, uh, 42. So we do need to increase our production of food. Probably another berry or... Let's get it. Yeah, let's do another berry, berry hut out here. Mm hmm, 40, 27, 36, it's not a whole lot. 40, 45, 40, 40, not. Ooh, what about these? 63, 67, can live with that. <clears throat> Get that built. We'll probably also increase our farm at some point. Like the workers on the farm. All right, cold snap. It's okay, beets, you can do it. Might affect the growth of our plants. Heck yeah, it did. Uh, so it looks like we might be headed into desert, no matter which way we go. Fortunately, we've researched, uh, have we done cactus and corn? Okay, we're prepared. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure 
I mean, this definitely looks like desert out here. Like 90% sure this is desert here too. So we'll wanna switch over soon. Just kinda wanna make sure. Okay, are you, yeah, you need more advanced materials to do stuff. <clears throat> uh, you need these. Dude, I don't really want to put those there. Let's put them down here. We'll do one here. One here, and we'll get a road down here. Maybe, if I remember where roads are. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do road all the way out here too down that way and we'll also well I'll wait to build that one until we have the horn blower up there I built these up here and I forgot again <laughs> I forgot that you can't store you can't well I guess you can store herbs in here that's fine but you can't store uh, berries or mushrooms or anything oh you can store mushrooms okay so it's not all for not. It's a little bit for not, but not all for not. Uh, okay. And guys, if you're enjoying the stream, if you could follow, that'd be great. Uh, I don't get a lot of traction on The Wandering Village uh, on Twitch or YouTube, so I don't stream it as much, but I would love to stream it more because I think it's a really cool game, but people aren't interested in it, then I won't <laughs> continue streaming it. So uh, let me know if y'all are interested and uh, I'll keep streaming. Keep at it for a little bit longer, a few more weeks. Okay, what do we got going on? I, we're not gathering any wood and I think we need wood. Let's get all that. And let's get these rocks. Uh, we still need to produce more food. Uh, did we get that berry hut set up yet? We did. Uh, see if we can, do we have a third person? We don't have a third person for that yet. Uh, let's build a pantry down here. Oh, we do have a horn blower. Let's do horn blower first, then we'll build a pantry down there so that we can store berries. Look at that. I remembered. I need a pantry, not a, <laughs> not a material storage. Or a warehouse. Warehouses also don't work for food. So we got that going. Uh, unaffected by poison. Okay, we're laying down. Oh, are we uh, cold and humid? Okay, so this isn't desert. I don't know what... Did it say what biome it was? Mountains biome. Okay. So it's just cold up here. All right, we really need to get the scavenger's hut going, but <clears throat> uh, we need we need both of those to have people. So we got that, and I think that also fills up another berry person. Yep. So I'm down to three in here, which I think is about where I want that to be anyway. Uh, this is a mother tree, so eventually we'll be able to get tree saplings from it. So I don't want to tear that down. I want to keep that. Uh, keep that good. Uh, keep that not torn down. Keep that alive. <laughs> the op whatever the opposite is of taking down, uh, which is not taking down. All right, pantry constructed down here. Great. So those guys can just put berries in here. Maybe. Yep. Perfect. Great. All right, what are we doing now? We are now doing scavenger hut things. And yes, let's prioritize this. We want to be able to start going to some of these places because we can find more nomads in these places and we can also find knowledge in these places. And we need knowledge to you know, increase our um, research tree. 
So what are we looking at now? So we do have an on boot kitchen. Let's go ahead and get that working. So we don't have a repeat of last time. Uh, I guess we can put it right beside the normal kitchen. On boot kitchen. Oh no, it's a little too big. Uh, I guess we'll stick it. So it gets, oh. I might want to change some stuff. Let's put the on boot kitchen here. Oh, this is high priority too. <laughs> this, is, this is other high priority. That needs wood planks, and this also needs wood planks. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, my thought process is that we're mining mushrooms all the way back here. Really, we should be doing mushrooms up here. Uh, so I think I'm going to build another mushroom thingy, wherever that is, this mushroom thingy, uh, over here. Uh, probably, no, uh, e, or, no, uh, probably would have been best right there, but we put stuff there, I don't want to take that up. Uh, we'll just do one here. We'll, do, we'll have two. We'll have a little one here and a little one over there. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> hey! It's okay. Beans, you know George is scared of being stepped on, and you're so tall. He's just scared. Where are you? Come here, Bean Bean. You're okay, buddy. I oh, know. Their normal blank. I would usually have a giant blanket in here for them to lay on, and it was stanky. So it's in the wash right now. So they just have a little blanket to lay on, so there's not enough room for everybody. <laughs> just my Kerrigan's up here. <clears throat> all right. Oh, we got another crossroads. Oh my god, look at all these nomads. All right, they're crossing this way or are they going that way? It's hard to tell which direction they're going, but we are going to get nomads. Oh, they're going this way. All right, because that's where we're going to enter. They're going to intersect. So it is hungry, so it's probably going to go that direction. No, it went straight. All right. I think it might be too fast to catch these nomads. I think we might pass them come on nomads run 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 uh we're gonna need more houses here eat that eat that eat that here beans there you go buddy we're gonna need more houses we need a lot more houses uh i guess i can just put a bunch right here uh, this tent Hold shift. All right, we got the trebuchet researched. Oof. Oh no, it doesn't really fit. Here, it's fit up here. Fits right there. That's good. Aru, I hear you. They're getting, they're getting hungry. I have to call it. Call it a stream here soon. Let's see if we can get these nomads. Ah, uh, yeah, we passed and we were too fast. That's okay. Uh, all right, we switched biomes. We're now in a desert biome. I should have been paying attention to that sooner, but this needs to be cacti and this needs to be switched to corn. Okay. All right, so we got that going. Oof. Horn blower constructed. Oh, under construction. Got it. All right, got some nomads. Pick them up. 